Hello everyone, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to English class. Today is Monday, April 20th, and this is the Vision Church Level 2 class. And here's my phone number if you need to call or text me. And you guys should already have my email address. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go over the homework, which was pages 78 to 83, because in the last class, we finished Unit 7. Woohoo! So I always love to celebrate when we finish a unit. So we're going to um, review half of the homework for Unit 7. And then we're going to start Unit 8. And then in the next video, we will, um, we will complete the, um, the rest of Unit 7's homework. So um, after this class, you can go ahead and finish um, the rest of Unit 7 in the workbook. And get that completed in your home as homework okay all right so let's get started all right unit get your uh, student workbook and let's go ahead and turn to page 78 and let's complete that homework assignment this was the shopping unit remember we all love shopping right and the word that we learned in that unit was options because we have lots of options in Atlanta for where you can go shopping. An option is what? Things to choose from, absolutely. So let me just write this word up here. I want you to write this in the back of your student notebook just so you can practice this word. Option, that's how you spell it. And this is how you pronounce it. It's spelled O-P-T-I-O-N and it's pronounced option okay all right so you can write that in the back of your notebook if you didn't last time so that you can practice and writing the word sounds just make it easy for you when you go back and look at it later on that you remember how to pronounce it okay so let's go ahead and get started reviewing the homework page 78 unit 7 shopping lesson a listening Okay, exercise one, it says complete the words. Now, these are words that we learned in unit seven when we were going over the shopping, uh, the page with the people in the furniture store shopping. So number one is stove, S-T-O-V-E. Number two was salesperson, S-A-L-E-S-P-E-R-S-O-N. Number three is sofa. S-O-F-A. Number four is piano. And I'm sure Vianney loves pianos, right? Because her son takes piano lessons. Number five is customer. C-U-S-T-O-M-E-R. Let me step out the way. Number six, appliances. A-P-P-L-I-A-N-C-E-S. Number seven is furniture, F-U-R-N-I-T-U-R-E. And then number eight is price tag, P-R-I-C-E-T-A-G. And that's how you know what an item costs, okay? All right, so that's page 78. Page um, number, exercise two on 78 we have to match the word with the picture of that item, okay? So no, picture number one is sofa, they did that one for you. Picture number two is furniture. Picture number three, what is that? That's customer. Picture number four is a stove. Picture number five, that's the salesperson. Picture number six, that's the price tag. Picture number seven is the piano, and picture number eight is appliances. All right, so let's go on to page 79. Listen and complete the conversation. All right, so let's play the audio for that. Well, actually, I forgot, I'm thinking we're doing class, but this is homework, so you guys should have already listened to the audio in order to answer these questions on page 79. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go over the answers for page 79, okay? All right. Wow. They have a lot of furniture here. Yes. This is the biggest furniture store in the mall. We need help. Oh, here's someone. Are you a customer? No, sorry. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong answer key. All right, so let me start over. Wow, they have a lot of furniture here. Yes, this is the biggest furniture store in the mall. We need help. Oh, here's someone. Are you a salesperson? No, sorry, I'm a customer. Hey folks, I can help you. I'm Dave. I work here. We need some furniture and some appliances too. Well, we have furniture and appliances. That's number four. We need a sofa. That's number five. How much are how much is one? That green sofa? Let's take a look. The price tag, number six, says $999. Oh my goodness. How much is that sofa? The smaller sofa? It's actually more expensive. It's $1,059. Wow, we also need a piano. Fine, we have nice pianos. This one here is only $2,000. What about your appliances? We need a stove. Okay, this is our best one. It's only $1,500. Or you could also say 1500 Rob, let's go. Maybe this is the biggest furniture store, but it isn't the cheapest. Okay, so it doesn't sound like she liked those prices too much, did she? All right, so let's move on. Page 80. All right, lesson B. The brown sofa is bigger. So it says, study the chart on page 131, which I'm sure you guys have already looked at that. And the other page um, to review, to help you with this would be page 86 in your student book, because it has examples of the adjectives and their comparatives. And it also gives you the grammar rules for um, the comparative adjectives, okay? All right, so page 80, exercise one, complete the conversations. Number one, the striped sofa is big, but the black sofa is bigger. Number two, the gray sofa looks good, but the white stove, I'm sorry, I said sofa is stove, I'm sorry. Number two, the gray stove looks good. But the white stove looks gooder? Nope. Better. Very good. Because that is the comparative for good. All right, number three. The white refrigerator is heavy. But the gray refrigerator is heavier. And number four. The plaid chair is comfortable. But the checked chair is comfortabler, right? No? What is it? Oh, right. It's more comfortable, right? Yes, because that is the comparative for comfortable. It's more comfortable. 
All right, very good. So that's exercise one. Exercise two. Complete the conversation. Use comparatives. Okay, they did A for you, the first A. Which chair is more comfortable? The blue chair or the red chair? I don't know, but the blue chair is prettier. I like the pattern and the color. I do too. Is it more expensive? Don't worry about the price. This is a thrift shop. Everything is, what, cheaper. Everything is cheaper than in a department store, okay? Right. Well, the red chair is bigger than the blue chair. It's heavier, too. I want the blue chair. Okay, let's ask about the price. All right, so that's page 80, page 81. Let's keep it moving. All right, exercise three. Look at the ad and answer the questions. Then listen, okay? Which you have already did the listening, so we're just gonna go through the answers, okay? Number one, which table is bigger? The dining room table is bigger. All right, number two. Which chairs are smaller? All right. Oh, I lost my page. Hold on. Okay, there we go. The red chairs are smaller. Number three. Which appliance is more expensive? The refrigerator is more expensive. Number four. Which desk is older? Now look at those desks. One desk was made in 2010 and the other desk was made in 2016. So the one that was made in the earlier date is the one that's older, right? All right. So the answer to that one is the blue desk is older because it was made in 2010. All right. And uh, number five, which sofa is longer. The green sofa is longer because it can hold three people and the white sofa can only hold three people. So the since the green sofa can hold more people, we know it must be longer, right? Okay, and then number six, which lamp is shorter? And the green, the black table lamp is shorter because the floor lamps are the tall lamps, right? Okay, very good. So we finished up page 81. Let's take a quick break here. All right, so let's continue on with our homework review. We're now on page 82. Lesson C, the yellow chair is the cheapest. So it says study the um, chart on page 131, which is the chart of um, the comparative and the superlatives for adjectives. That's a good chart to study as well as page 86 and, H and page 88 in your student workbook that, gives, that actually gives you the grammar rules. So those are good to review. Okay, so let's just go over chart number one. It says complete the chart, write the comparative and the, com um, and the superlative forms of the adjectives. All right, they did number one for you. Number one is expensive more expensive, the most expensive. Number two, cheap, cheaper, the cheapest. Number three, friendly, friendlier, and the friendliest. Number four, good, better, and best. Number five, new, newer, and the newest. Number six, heavy, Heavier, the heaviest. Number six, 
low, lower, lowest, number eight, beautiful, more beautiful, and the most beautiful. Number nine, hold on one moment. Okay, let's continue on. I think we're on number nine in the chart, page 82. Pretty, prettier, prettiest, 10, crowded, more crowded, the most crowded. Number 11, comfortable, more comfortable, the most comfort, the most comfortable. And then number 12, nice, nicer, and nicest. All right, let's move on to exercise two. Complete the sentences, use superlatives. Okay, number one, furniture first has the lowest prices of all the furniture stores. Number two, Robinson's furniture has the most comfortable chairs. Number three, J-Mart's clothes are the best clothes in the mall. Number four, Kurto's has the most expensive appliances in town. Number five, which store has the nicest people? Number six, Della's clothes are the prettiest in the mall. Number seven, the furniture at second hand row is the cheapest in town. Number eight, Appliance World is the most crowded of all the appliance stores. And then number nine, the Super Plus TVs are the heaviest TVs in the store. All right, so the final page for the homework review is page 83. And we've got a chart that we need to complete. The first column in the chart is for the adjective small. A small lamp, a smaller lamp, the smallest lamp. The second column is for the desk, an expensive desk, a more expensive desk, the most expensive desk, and then the third columns are TVs. A good TV, a better TV, and the best TV. Okay? All right. And then the last exercise for the homework review is exercise four. It says, answer the questions. Clothing for today's woman. So we've got three skirts there. We've got a jean skirt is A for $40, B is a tennis skirt for $55, and an evening skirt for $150. Boy, that's a very expensive skirt, isn't it? I would never pay $150 for a skirt. Okay, number one, which skirt is the most expensive? So we want to answer these questions as a complete sentence, okay? So which skirt is the most expensive? The evening skirt is the most expensive. Which skirt is the longest? The evening skirt is the longest. Number three, which skirt is the cheapest? Okay. And that's the cheapest would be the lowest price, right? All right, which skirt is the cheapest? The jeans skirt is the cheapest because it's $40. And the other two skirts are more expensive or a higher price. And then number four, which skirt is the shortest? The tennis skirt is the shortest. And that completes the first half of the homework exercise, which is what I wanted to complete for this segment. So this is part one of our video for April 20th. And that is it. See you in the next class. Bye.